Hold on. Okay, this is a video. Oh, wow. <laughs> Hi. She's yes. from San Antonio. Hi. Hey. Um, she just started following our YouTube channel. And we did. just met at the uh, elevator. I just started <laughs> drinking apple cider vinegar. It's delicious. <laughs> I never knew. Deb shared with me that you started keto six months ago. Yeah, I've been uh, diagnosed diabetic for almost 18 years. And um, I started keto six months ago. And at the time, just before, I had had my E1C checked, I was over 11. I was uncontrolled diabetic for over five years, probably. The doctors basically told me it'll be like this and it'll just get worse. I, they never, reversal of diabetes wasn't even in their vocabulary. Um, and I finally found a doctor who was willing to take that leap with me. That's amazing. And it made all the difference in the world. Wow. And um, I'm down to from 86 units of insulin to 22. And uh, yeah, so and now I'm starting to lose the weight because I don't have all that insulin in my system. Yes. Yeah. So I've lost 23 pounds now. Oh my God. Yeah. I've added years to my life just just from these few six months. So I'm excited. So it's my life now. This is it. This is so awesome. And yeah. this is your first KetoCon too. It is. Yeah, it's it our is. first KetoCon as well. And this is awesome. <laughs> It is. That's why, you know, hearing folks like Dr. Eric Westman and, um, you know, following all of the different doctors who've really helped to bring the medical community on board. And now the American Diabetes Association is finally, this year, you know, they've started to actually recommend keto as a method of managing diabetes. That's so awesome. It's amazing. It yeah. Is. Okay, we just got our badges, we just checked in. This is the showroom floor, so all products, services, everything keto is on this floor. So we're just gonna cruise around, see, you know, what's the hottest, latest thing in keto. breakout session. It is a session with Logan Steed. He's going to be talking about keto and cancer. Kilogram body fat, and then I gained uh, muscles. 
uh, yeah. uh, during this whole period and I show you the picture. Yeah, let's see it. Beginning, uh, it's only like 51 kilogram and then I gain like 4 kilogram but I look slimmer. Everything feels better. <laughs> yeah, you look great. That's, Thank that's you. awesome. Thank you know, muscle, you're gonna definitely put on a little bit more weight, but you just, your body composition is different. And so I you fit differently. Yeah. Training in the fasting period is perfect for lean muscle gain. Yes. Yeah. Especially yeah. combined with the keto diet. Especially if you follow Tiffy Tail's YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> just follow her. Oh, you're so sweet. <laughs> talk about basically how keto has affected James and his um, autism. Yeah. yeah. So James has struggled with um, speech and learning delays and in second grade we were told that he would never surpass his educational and emotional age and at that point we said well there's there's really nothing else that we can do mm -hmm. um the schools didn't have any options for us doctors didn't have any options for us they just said to make plans to make to take care of him for the rest of his life so we pulled him out of school and we started looking at diet and lifestyle options and just removing sugars and preservatives made huge changes and he had huge leaps a few years ago i changed to ketogenic diet because i would had a stroke and so my brother-in-law said it might help with recovery and as a result the rest of the family joined me and out of the blue james's reading comprehension skyrocketed and his speech started getting clearer and clearer and um, little activities. So stimming is where um, an autistic person, or really anybody, will walk around and maybe touch something, or it's a, it's a repetitive behavior that comforts them. Mm -hmm. His stimming stopped. And so over the last four wow. years, he went from doing really good for being autistic to being a full-time lifeguard at a military installation. He's also a lifeguard instructor and a water safety instructor. Um, and he's looking at going to school to be an EMT and getting a degree in history. And today is also his 18th birthday. Whoa! Oh. Congratulations, buddy! Wow! He's <laughs> under, over. Oh my god. When I tell this story, because I run a group for, for ketogenic children, and the story, and it, it ultimately comes down to sheer force of will. James was the one who said, I want to be able to eat more food. When he was in second grade, he was eating less than 10 foods. So he went from that, where he would get violently ill if we introduced other foods, to where he can eat anything he wants. He was the one that made the decision. Um, and so I can't say enough for you know the applied behavioral therapies, the speech therapies, the occupational therapies, but ketogenic diet really was that last piece of the puzzle to, to help him come out of the shell. Thank you so much. Thank you right, so thank much. You. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. James, thank you so much. No Happy birthday, man. Thank you. Happy birthday. <laughs> what are you doing for your birthday? At KetoCon. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of the best 
testimonials that I've ever heard yeah. in real life. And this is exactly why we're here, to connect with people that are healing from this. I'm incredibly moved by his story and so nice for them to share. Yeah. It really, really was. Yeah, thank you. All right, that is a wrap. Day three is in the books. 2019 KetoCon in Austin, Texas. We were amazing. The best part about this all, Ryan and I have had many discussions about this, was connecting with our fans, hearing their stories, hearing other people's stories and how they have transformed their lives from the ketogenic diet and just living better quality lives, guys. I am so coming back next year. We had the best time. So thank you so much to everyone that came up to us, said hi. It really meant the world to us. I was nearly in tears most of the time because you guys, you guys know my life. You knew what I was going through coming into this with my sister battling cancer. So thank you so much and we will see you in the next Dippy Dales.